Shambhala Healing Center has been serving legal medical marijuana patients in the Mission District since opening in January 2011. But a letter from U.S. Attorney Melinda Hagg could change that. Our landlord received a letter uh, basically stating that we had 45 days to close our doors. Uh, it threatened imprisonment for up to 40 years, fines, criminal prosecution to the landlord, and um, potential seizure of property as well. Shambhala is the latest California dispensary to be targeted by the federal government. Marijuana has been legal for medical use in California since 1996, and most dispensaries are operated in accordance with California law, like any local business. We're just a business operating within state law. We're paying sales tax, we're paying, um, paying employee taxes, we're paying wages. We're doing everything by the book. However, marijuana remains illegal at the federal level, and a policy shift from the Obama administration has led to a recent crackdown on medical marijuana in California. It's, it's changed a lot around here. You know, people are worried, employees are worried about their jobs. Our patients are continuously asking us, you know, what's going to happen, what's going to happen. In a statement, the U.S. Attorney's Office defended the letter to Shambhala's landlord, citing complaints from people about the tremendous growth of the marijuana industry and its influence on their communities. The letter was sent to Shambhala due to its proximity to Jose Coronado Playground, which carries enhanced penalties. But John says the city addressed this when Shambhala opened and determined that the playground was inactive and therefore didn't pose a problem. I think it's the medical marijuana industry in general that's being targeted. And I think that they're just looking for any possible avenue that they can to kind of attack and cripple this industry. We're going to fight to stay open, you know, not only for our jobs and just for our well-being, but for the patients as well. I mean, that's who it's really about. Um, we just, you know, we don't want to see people having to turn to the street to get the medicine they need. It's just not right. For a lot of people, it's it's really the difference between, you know, coming in and purchasing from a, from a safe establishment like this or, you know, buying it from somebody up and down on Mission Street, you know. And for someone who's looking for a specific kind, for a specific medical reason, it, it really makes all the difference in the world. We definitely feel like we have a right to be here and a right to serve the community and don't feel like we're doing anything wrong. Shambhala plans to stay open until the first week of April and to implement a delivery service to continue providing medical marijuana to patients. In San Francisco, I'm Surat Lazwick with KR News.